It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time to open up door number eight of the Christmas beer advent calendar that we got from Virgin Wines. Uh, there's number, oh, hang on. All right. Oh, there it is, number eight, below number 18. Um, I was looking through the window, looking at this, thinking, where's number eight? I need to get that right before I come out and do the video. Uh, and then straight away, I point to 18. So uh, there's number eight. We're going to get it out straight away. Have a look at it. Right, this is... Oh, I've not had a beer by this company for a long time. This is by the Horns Brewing Company, and it's their Hopperdelic. It's a session IPA at 4.3% ABV. All beer, no bull. Based in Surrey, UK. Salfords. So not Salford. Salford City, but Salfords. Right, uh, by the Hans Brewing Company, established in London in 2011. Oh, so they may maybe moved out to Surrey now. Uh, right, so what's going on on the label then? Um, looks like palm trees, a man with his head in a horn, and waves. That's what I can work out. Um, tell me if you work out and you can see other things. Without further ado then, let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Yeah, by the Horns Brewing Company. I've had a beer from them for quite some time, to be honest with you. Probably, I don't know, maybe five years? Seems like five years. Um, definitely had their previous beers and they're definitely very, very good. Very, very kind of good quality brewery. I'd love to know the story, why they've moved from London to Surrey. Maybe it was too expensive in London to run a brewery, so they moved out to Surrey. Maybe they moved out to Surrey for different circumstances altogether. Maybe it was relationship um, bound. I know there's a, I know a couple of breweries where uh, the the owner brewer has, has got himself into a different relationship and. They've moved somewhere else. They've moved somewhere else. So beer in the glass. We got a one finger white head. It's a hazy straw-ish coloured beer. It's heading over to amber. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get the aroma on this beer. In terms of sediment, there's not really much sediment in the bottom of the glass at all. Aroma. Wow. Wow, that is tropical. That is full on kind of citrusy. Grapefruity loveliness. Tangerine. Orange peel. Lemon. Grapefruit. A little bit of a spicy pepperiness. Smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, did I give the... I didn't give the ABV. 4.3. 4.3% ABV. Let's go. Cheers, everybody. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. This is one of those beers that I exhale fully and as I'm tasting the beer, I'm breathing in. It's got such a lovely aroma to it that you're getting the full experience. You're breathing in, you're getting the aroma as you're drinking the beer. Tangerine, grapefruit, a little bit of spicy pepperiness, some tangerine, very drinkable. It's not really that sweet, which I like about it. It's a touch of sweetness over there. 
there's a little bit of bitterness over there, but all of the flavours are in the middle. So it's a nicely balanced beer. And it's just something which you could really, really... Well, they're smashable, aren't they? It's a shame that beer can be called smashable. I mean, the closest they can get to is session IPA. Sessionable IPA. That's as far as the wording goes. I'd like to use smashable, you know? I'm sure some, some breweries have used smashable in the past on the side of their cans, which is great. Great. But... For a session IPA, 4.3% ABV, I could drink can after can after can after can of that. I really could. It's really lovely. And it's come from Virgin Wines. Virgin Wines, I mean, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. Sorry if I sound like a scratch record a little bit, but I did my first ever advent calendar, beer advent calendar, last Christmas. It was a German advent calendar that I picked up from Costco. And I did it kind of, if I'm honest, I did it reluctantly. Everybody was asking me to do advent calendar year after year after year. And I was like, right, okay, I see one now in the shop. I'll buy one, I'll try it. It's fun. Even though I kind of bought it reluctantly last year, it's actually quite fun. There's a lot of aspects that are kind of exciting about a beer advent calendar. First of all, you don't know what beer glass you're going to need because you don't know what beer style you're going to get. Every single beer in this in this box here, I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm opening the doors as as you're seeing me open the doors, and there's no pre kind of like right. There's an IPA. I need an IPA glass. Going to review a stout. Let's get a stout glass. There's none of that. There's kind of completely blind, open some doors. We've had some fantastic lagers. We've had some fantastic IPAs. This is a fantastic IPA. It's a really good quality box. Now, I've never had anything from Virgin Wines before. I'm not really a wine drinker, but it's quality. It's a really good quality box, this. It really is. I mean, it's kind of like, for me, if Virgin Wines do beers in the future, then I'll be looking to buy beers from Virgin Wines because the quality of the beers that I've had in this box have been outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. There's been one or two beers which have not been great, but, you know, as far as, I mean, I've done eight of them and two have been drinkable, been okay. The, the other six have been smashing. They've been fantastic. Really good. So I'm going to rate this Hoppadelic. We're going to read the back of the can first. All beer, no bull. We have a progressively traditional attitude towards brewing our beers, combining flavour, tradition, skill and experience in a forward-thinking manner. Brilliant. Um, Hoppadelic. A tripped out psychedelic journey through the juicy delights of New World hops, citrus summit and cascade. American hops offer waves of tropical fruit with light bitterness on a crisp, extra pale malt base. Yeah, I mean, fantastic. Fant another fantastic beer in this box. I'm gonna rate it, nice lacing, nice small bubbles as you rock the beer back and forth. Lovely look, lovely aroma, fantastic taste. It's good to get another By The Horns brewery beer on the channel. It's been a number of years since I tried their beer. They've always been good. Always been good. I like that Session IPA. Enough to give it a Stone The Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.